start drawing this orange component. So I'm going to select these two components, right click, hover over isolate, and select hide objects. Click this plus sign to create a new drawing. Make sure you are on parallel projection. Just going to move this one to the other side. So this is going to be our part one. I'm going to start drawing from front view. So go to custom view and select front view. Before anything else, go down to your status bar. Make sure your dynamic input is on. And under polar tracking, right click, tracking setting. Uh, click uh, polar tracking, which is already on. Uh, under object snap, click this one. Object snap on and object snap tracking. Uh, select in point, midpoint, center, geometric center, quadrant, intersection perpendicular and tangent and for 3d object snap vertex midpoint center perpendicular and node intersection perpendicular to plane perpendicular to edge and center line and click ok and um, your dynamic UCS make sure it's on if you couldn't find it click this icon here and look for dynamic UCS and click it and now we can start select line from the ribbon or type L for line command click anywhere on the screen bring your cursor up for 24 units and to your right for 10 units bring down your cursor with an angle from the x-axis towards the fourth quadrant and press tab from your keyboard and enter minus 50 right click to repeat line click the endpoint go to your right for the distance from here to here is six units bring down your cursor and the distance from here to here is 12 units I'm just gonna track and bring it down again for 24 units to your right for 10 units Bring your line up towards to the right with an angle of 50 degrees. So press tab and enter 50. Now it's positive because it's uh, on the first quadrant. I'm just going to extend this one. EX for extend. Enter twice and then TR for trim command. Enter twice and remove that. The distance from this point to this point is 60, so I'm just going to draw a construction line. So type L for line command from this endpoint to your right for 60 units. I'm going to mirror this whole thing. So ty type MI for mirror. I'm just going to highlight that one and from the midpoint bring your cursor up and click and select no type tr for trim command and enter twice remove this one remove that part and enter 
Now I'm going to draw a construction line again from this point to just going to track to this point. Type L for line command. Right click. Shift right click and select from. Click that in point. Bring down your cursor and enter 16.68 as shown here. Enter, bring your cursor to the right and click that intersection. Enter, right click to repeat line, click that in point and click that uh, intersection. Type TR for trim command. Enter twice, remove that, remove this one, remove this one and remove that delete now I'm just gonna mirror this one so now first join these two lines so type J for join command type MI for mirror select this line and from this midpoint to this midpoint which so is our mirror line and select no type TR again for trim command enter twice And I'm just going to delete this one. Type J. I'm going to combine all the broken segments. So type J for join command. Right click. And select all the segments. Now it's one object. I'm just going to turn off the grid. And extrude this one for the extrusion is 100 units so select extrude command from the ribbon select the object and extrude it for 100 units now our first component or first part is done let's move on to the next one The next component to draw is this yellow color. So I'm going to hide these two. Hover over isolate and select hide objects. I name it as part two. And this one is the front view. So bring your drawing to front view. What I'm going to do is hide this one so it's out of the way. Hide object. So line. And from here to here the distance is 16. Bring your cursor up for 36 units and to your right for 10 units, which is the thickness here. Bring it down, maybe up to here. Then repeat line, bring it up for 12 units and to your left. Click that intersection. I'm just gonna trim it. T T R for trim command. Enter twice. And the distance from here to here is 80. So I'm just gonna draw a construction line. So L for line. Click that endpoint and enter 80. I'm just going to mirror this one. So type MI for mirror. Highlight this object. 
locate mirror line so from the midpoint and just bring your cursor up click and select no I'm just gonna delete that now I'm gonna draw an arc from the center so type C for circle command shift right click and select mid between two points select that in point and this end point and enter 24 type L for line click that end point up to the quadrant right click to repeat line in point up to this quadrant and next is the second arc so I'm gonna create another circle so type C for circle command locate center and insert the radius of 36 now I'm gonna do some trimming so type TR for trim command click twice just gonna remove that this one this one here The next thing to do is draw a line from that midpoint up for 20 units. And the distance from this point to this point is 24. So I'm going to draw a line. So type L for line command. Uh, just hover over, don't click, and from your right, enter 12, and bring your cursor to the other side for 24 units. Bring it down, and click that intersection. Same process here, line, and click this one. Do trimming again, so type TR for trim command, enter twice, remove this one. I'm just gonna delete that now I'm gonna combine all the segments so go to the ribbon or type J for join command and select all the objects now it's one object the extrusion for this one is uh, about 20 units. I'm just gonna change this one for just wait. There you go for better viewing. So I'm gonna extrude this one for 20 units. Oh, wait everything is not joined yet so type J for join command again select this one and this one now it's one object so go to the ribbon and select extrude command click this one enter and extrude it for 20 units The next thing to do is um, go to solid and select fillet edge and uh, click radius from the command prompt and enter 4. And select this um, edge here. Select this one, and I think this one is also four for radius, and this one. Enter twice. Yeah. 
and we have to poke a hole from here and the radius for that is 6 so go to home select circle enter 6 for radius extrude this one move it just enough so we can cut it all through and select subtract command from the ribbon click the object you want to keep right click and select the object you don't want I think we are done with this part so let's move on to the rod or to the next component Click these two, hover over isolate, and select hide objects. I'm going to start from top view. I'm just going to hide this one. Select circle and enter 12 units. Right click to repeat circle, locate center and enter 6 units. Extrude the biggest circle for 20 units as shown here. And select extrude command from the ribbon and enter 20 just gonna change this to to the uh to wireframe extrude this one for 80 units bring down your cursor and enter 80. i'm gonna combine these two objects go back to the ribbon and select solid union command click this one and this one now it's one object Bring your uh, drawing to front. And select circle from the ribbon. And locate the center. And enter. Wait. The diameter for this one is 5. So circle. Oops. And type D for diameter option and enter and enter the value of 5. I'm just going to extrude this one, then move. Go back to the ribbon and select solid subtract command or subtract command from the solid editing panel. Click the object you want to keep, right click and select this one. Now we're done with the rod. The next thing to do is assemble the components or assemble the parts. I'm going to bring all the parts th that were hidden. So right click hover over isolate and select an object isolation So what I'm going to do is um, place this one or move this one from the center to the center here. I'm 
and move it downward click this once move this one here and click that corner and attach it to the corner here move this one along the Z axis so type materials click this drop down arrow from the uh, to select materials from the Autodesk library and I selected metallic paint and I click this arrow to add materials to the document so I got one here fire brick and add it here I'll first change the custom visual style to realistic and the glows uh, the gold color for this flake reflective beige for this just gonna close this one and double click the sun status and turn off default lighting adjust exposure setting turn on environment use uh, click this button use custom background and, and click background click this arrow and select gradient and click three colors and click this top portion I'm just gonna select blue or purple I'm gonna select dark one and for the middle one maybe that's okay and the bottom color lighter color click OK click OK and uh, adjust the exposure and to apply shadow click ground shadow and you can adjust that by clicking sun and location there you go I think we're done thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and bell icon for notification thank you for watching and see you again